Hello, I will be presenting running UFT test using UFT Octane UFT test runner and CI server of Jenkins. Over here we have a Jenkins server that have connected a UFT machine. In order to run the UFT test, we need to have a UFT machine that can execute the test. The UFT machine can be on the remote uh, machine or it could be on the uh, Jenkins server. For this configuration, the UFT machine is on remote machine. Call that what important to have on this machine that created on the Jenkins server is that we'll have a label of UFT, like here. Secondly, on Jenkins, we need to select to connect Jenkins to our Octane server. It's done on the configuration of Jenkins, the configure system. I want to show you where it is. I'll give it a second to two, second to two load. Octane configuration is added on this ALM Octane CI section. We already connected our Octane server over here. And uh, this is for, for the configuration for connecting the uh, Jenkins to Octane. Let's go back to Jenkins. And for now, go to Octane CI server. First, we need to add the CI server of Octane, of the, uh, the CI server to Octane. I'm on the admin side of Octane, on the DevOps tab, we need to add a new CI server. Let's add a CI server that I just created. After that, we need to add the UFT test runner. It's on the test runner section. Let's give it a name. The framework is, of course, UFT. The CI server is just what we just created. The repository, it's my uh, UFT test. This is a repository of UFT test. You can also add the uh, username and password for basic authentication for the repository. Uh, now we need to test the connection that Jenkins can uh, connect to our uh, UFT, uh, test, uh, UFT test repository. After everything is done, we can create the test run. Okay, as a result of creating of the test runner, on Jenkins, we will have two new jobs that will be created. We can identify them by the ID of the test runner that created on Octane. So we go to Jenkins, and over here, you can see, let's refresh it to see the job that created. Over here we have the UFT discovery job with index 3, 3067 and the UFT test runner. Uh, these two jobs is creating automatically a uh, form obtained by the Jenkins uh, plugin. Uh, one of them is the discovery that uh, sent the test from the, from the repository and input it on the test runner to obtain and will update the test in case of any change of the repository. Uh, it's uh, automatic. It's, uh, if it demanded, it's checking if there is any change on the repository of the UFT. And if so, it's running. Uh, scan, it, it, it's running again the scan of the uh, UFT repository and report uh, for change on the test uh, on Octane. As, ex as a result of this execution, we can we can see on this on its log. That he created a new test and sent it to Octane, also a data table to Octane. This is the discovery job, and the second job that created is the test runner itself that executes the test. This is the test runner that created, this is created automatically, we don't need to change anything on that. After we have those two tests, we should have the test created on Octane. So I'll go now to the application side of Octane. And you can see that all the test was created from the UFT uh, repository. Uh, we can also see the test runner that we just added uh, already assigned to the test. So 
So when we create, uh, we're trying to run it. So automatically, we run from this uh, UFTTS runner. Basically, it can be changed, but it's not recommended to change it because this hash runner is related to our uh, uh, to this test. So let's select. So now, in order to execute it, we need to run it on on context of a suite. Uh, so we can select few tests and select that one let's see with the failure and maybe that as well we have few tests and you can create a UFT suite let's edit 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 and edit it we have it created on the suite let's plan our suite Basically, now I'm creating a switch run. Let's plan and edit it. <clears throat> and we can see here that the switch run was created for the new run. The runs on status of planned. Uh, over here on the right side, we have the test runner that uh, will execute it. Uh, and we can from here to execute the run by clicking run here. As a result, the UFT, the job that created on the Jenkins that I shown you earlier, will execute those tests on the UFT machine. You can see on Jenkins as well that uh, the test runner is now running uh, with the test that we sent to him. And we can see the life, the cycle of the running on Octane. It might take a minute to, go to run, but we can wait. We can also click on here and go to the job itself that is running. Checking the console log of one end of the job, I see it's almost finished. Once it's done, it's automatically refreshed the, the view, and then we can see the results. Okay, we got the result on the test. You can also see on Octane the report of the, of the result. This is a successful one. We can also click it to it as well. We have the report here. We have the report of the failure. Of the failure. Also, we can go and jump to the, the Jenkins uh, report, the UFT report. Uh, another option that can be done, we can uh, rerun the sweet run, we can select one of the run and choose to rerun it again. So we'll run it again, the test runner will, will uh, execute only this test if I select this one and run only that. You can see they have uh, the next build for it. And uh, by the way, for reporting, you have this this is the tab of the test runners. Uh, this is the tab of the report of the test. And this is the description of the test one and once it click in it. You can see here the cycle the, the, the cycle of the test runner. So it's ready to finish. This is the execution. Eventually, we can select uh, one test, execute it, while have all the configuration. We can see also on the Jenkins side that the test was executed. 
We have the result, we have the console, and we will find money on Jenkins and report back to Octane on the sweet context. We continue of uh, running the UFT test one and uh, Octane UFT uh, runner. Uh, I like to, to show you the configuration that uh, running the, the the UFT test uh, on the, the remote host. Uh, basically, on, on uh, the, the, the this is the remote host that I this is the the, the host that I have on uh, Jenkins. This one is the my, my machine that I'm uh, the, the, the main Jenkins I have to integrate with Octane. And uh, this is uh, one UFT machine that used to run UFT test, and this is the uh, second one. I configure both of them. What we can achieve with that is where we can have the uh, the runners to the test to run in parallel in case that we are executing a, a, a test for Octane a, a more than one execution. In general, the once the the runner is uh, occupied, so other job will wait if we have more hosts and we can uh, achieve running in parallel. Uh, I can show you an example. Uh, this is my uh, UFT test. I have created two sweet runs. Uh, each of them contains a few tests. Uh, uh, one of the tests are common between of them. Uh, what I can do, I can create, uh, can plan a run from both of them. Um, Let's plan for each one of them a sweet run. We should, we can see it here. And let's distinguish between them. Never mind. Let's call it one, and this will be number two. Uh, basically, we can run both of them. This was executed, and now we run in the second one. You can see here that both of them are running. You can see on Jenkins, each one of these hosts is running this uh, job. Uh, if I would like to run a new one, this will enter to a queue because it doesn't have a UFT machine available if I run a new one. It's create, but it's not running because it's uh, on Jenkins. We can see it's on the queue. It's all way to the UFT remote host will be available to execute it on it. Uh, if you want, and uh, this is the, the way to configure more than one host uh, to create uh, running the test in parallel. Uh, if we go here, we can see that one of the tests, one of the sweet, both of the sweet one will be eventually, will be initially executed is running. And the new one is still on planning until the one will be done. And after it's finished, we can see the new run is executing. Selected the, the machine uh, randomly. Thank you.